Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are servicing a BMW 750i transmission seals that are above the valve body or what is called the mechatronics. Uh, symptoms of these seals wearing out will be erratic shift qualities. I'm going to start off by removing this drain plug here in the center. This is, I believe, was a 10 millimeter Allen plug. Go ahead and remove it, let all the fluid drain out, and then take all these bolts around and leave these three in the front. These are T40s, and then you will let it hang at the rear to drain out some more fluid, and then go ahead and just remove the pan down. Now the pan on this particular model, and any model with pans like this, is a built-in oil sump. So you see here that it has the oil accumulator built in and the oil filter. This is called the transmission oil sump. So the pan will be what you replace when you replace the transmission filter. Now after you get the pan down, this plug up here, we'll be removing that, disconnecting it, you can grab a long screwdriver or a little pry bar, reach up through there, and just flip that little tab that you see, and that will disconnect that plug, and then you can just pop that plug out of the way. As you can see here, I will show you that I just simply took a little short pry bar. You can use a screwdriver or whatever you want. You just reach up in there and just pop this plug off. Just note that the mechatronics can get damaged if you touch the pins on the inside from static discharge. It is pretty tight in there. I couldn't hardly fit my hands. I uh, just grabbed a long skinny screwdriver, reached up in there, just finished pushing it off the actual way and then it just popped right off. Now this pass-through plug here that we just popped it out of, there's a little pass-through plug that we will be changing and uh, basically to get that out you'll pull this little white tab down and that will release the lock on it then I just reached up in there with some hose clamp pliers and pulled it out of the hole next you can start removing the valve body as you see here there are two different size bolts You'll have the T25s with the rounded looking heads, and then the T40s where you can see that the sides are very much squared off. The T40s are what you'll be removing, and here you can see where all the T40s are. There will be 10 59 millimeter bolts and three 20 millimeter bolts at the back there, the little short ones. Then you should be able to pull it down pretty easily, just almost straight down, a little bit of angle towards the rear where the plug is to pull the shift fork lever out. Just a quick reference point, please pay attention to the shift fork here as it goes through this rod sticking out. Make sure that you reinsert this back into this hole properly when you reinsert the valve body into the car and do not miss that. Then after you remove the valve body from the transmission, at the front you'll see the molded plastic holding the square and rectangle seals and in the rear you can see the four holes for the tube seals that you're replacing. The tube seals, there will be one long one, a medium one, and two short ones that are exactly the same. I'm just going to give you a run over of these part numbers now. This is the part number for the long one. This is the part number for the medium one. And on the left there, you'll see the part number for the short ones. The part number on the right next to the socket is for the square and rectangle ones. Here I pulled the tube seals out and then gently just inserted the ends of them in. This is looking from the back towards the front. So from left to right, you'll insert the long tube, then the medium tube, and then the two that are the same are right next to each other. Once you have the new ones in, this is what it should look like. Now here I have the rectangle and square seals. As I went to insert them, it wouldn't 
fit up in there right and then I noticed that there was a difference between the old and new ones and you can see this here the little locating tab on the new one was in the wrong position according to the old one so I just swapped the seals over now you need to look at your old plastic to make sure there are no cracks around the edging because they can crack as well if you find that your plastic is cracked then you need to purchase the right seal if not and it looks fine then just swap the seals themselves over into the new plastic and then you can insert it into the transmission and it should sit up there just like this now here I'm just going to run through the book procedure on doing this job just in case there is something that y'all want to see this will take about two minutes uh, at the end there are the tightening torques so if you don't want to read all this and you just want to torques or if you don't want to watch this at all just skip ahead about two minutes I did not have this shifter style on mine. If you don't have it on yours, then you can just skip that part. Other than that, it should all be the same. Here is the part number for the pass-through plug that we will be swapping out. This little locating dowel goes towards the bottom. I use the same pliers to pop it up in the hole and then pushed it in with my hands. Then I grabbed a large hose pick to reach up in there and just swing that electrical locking tab down into position. Then after that, do not forget to push this white clip back up to lock it in place. Then grab your new oil pan filter assembly these are the part numbers for the bolts replace all the bolts this is a TSB that came with the pan itself after you install the new pan to fill it you're gonna want to remove this heat shield on the right side gain access to this plug right here this is the fill plug on the transmission it was I believe a seven or eight millimeter Allen I used this quarter inch ratchet to break it loose. I believe it was eight millimeter. This little quarter inch ratchet should hold it. It's very tight space there and grab your fluid. For this job we bought eight quarts of ZF lifeguard fluid six. Then grab however you want to fill that in. I use this Mac fluid pump. Just insert the inlet tube in there and then insert the other tube into the transmission. Fill it up. Now before you ever start it, you'll want to add some fluid to it first preliminarily and it was about two and a half quarts in before it started running out. Then I had my friend jump up on the ladder, start the car and run it, and then I added the rest. After I started the car, I pumped more fluid in until it ran out and then once it started running out again, I had him shift through the gears. You want to shift through as many gears as you can get access to and then after that I added fluid to it until it ran out again and then this is pretty much done. After I, we had added all the fluid to it we added all the quartz back together because the pump doesn't suck every last drop out like if you were pouring it down a funnel and I believe we were left with a total of one quart left. 
which put us at a total fill of seven quarts. As you can see here in the manual, it says the trans temp needs to be 30 to 50 degrees Celsius, which is about 86 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're out here on a very warm day, like it was for us, you can pretty much just fill the car up to the total fill right away. Which again, it was while the engine is off, before it was ever started, two and a half quarts in, it came back out start the engine up let it run fill it again till it came out and then run through all the gears that you have access to and then add more to it till it runs out again and at that point the transmission should be full and then you will be done and all you got left to do is to clear the coach clear the transmission adaptives and then go test drive it 